investing tens of tens of years. We down the line when we have the million dollar prize pools on the line. You can sit back and say, I was the first one to win an Underlords tournament. Hell yeah. You might even go up on Liquipedia. <laughs> I really think this is actually the first Underlords tournament. I, I don't think there's been another one. From what I've seen at least. So, we should feel special. I mean, I know I do. Is there is there actually a Liquipedia for this already? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I doubt it means, yeah. If this actually is the first tournament, that wouldn't make any sense. No, I highly doubt there's a... Hey, there's an artifact one. There is. Hey, yo. Well, I looked at that. 93 concurrent players. <laughs> Pretty solid. It's so sad. But it really is... It, it's something seeing the obvious shift from Valve after what happened with Artifact and how yeah. they're reacting to Underlords and how, oh my god, we're getting more community feedback and like reactions and, and words from them than we got in years with Dota, let alone Artifact. And yeah, you know what I noticed is that they hired a young ass dude to run their social media. <laughs> yeah. And so he's just constantly on Twitter interacting with people, talking about the development, and that is exactly how you run a business in this day and age. It's amazing. It's, it really is amazing it took this long. But, hey, it's cool to see. <clears throat> and, honestly, Underlords is a good game, and we'd love to see it succeed because of that, amongst other reasons. But here we are, Grand Finals. Get, you, get your yo's ready, boys. We're crowning a champion. <laughs> Pontius is a scrub, by the way. Yo. He's the same rank as me. Yo. Yeah, but he's in the finals, and where are you? <laughs> casting the finals. I'm in the finals. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. I made it. <clears throat> All right, so early strats. As we got round three coming up. Got some Brawl Warrior synergy for Grunt. Uh, early Savage for Pontius. Miss Goat going the Adventure Scrap. I don't know what uh, Glucose is doing. I guess he's kind of got demons. Durr with the Savage. Sneaks all over the place. Malice, same deal. And Haruja with the Savage as well. A lot of Savage buffs. A lot of Tusks and Enchantresses early on. Just got to take what you can get sometimes. Anybody have good passives? We've got Coordinated Assault and Embarrassment of Riches on Dururu. We've got <laughs> Unstable Reactor on Glucose. Mist Goat has Coordinated Assault as well, so we definitely have two people forcing trolls. We've got Tooth and Claw on Grunt as well as Embarrassment of Riches. Going back to Dururu, he actually follows it up with Unstoppable. So he is, if he manages to get a Troll Warlord Warrior Synergy with this lineup, that's pretty good. Yeah, he's going to be looking pretty good. He's definitely going to be forcing it, though, so he's going to gonna have to fight RNG the entire way. Oh, double unstable reactor. Who? On Glucose. Ooh, okay. See, there I haven't seen that. I, I have not seen this before. I've obviously seen the one, but... So, again, it's a question of does it actually increase just additive? Is it just 40%? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, well, we're going to find out soon once that clockwork dies. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's 40% for sure. Yeah, he might He's not win. Lose, though. <laughs> as great as that was, he, he still loses. That clockwork positioning was suspect. He only exploded a one hero. Good point. He does have that vitality booster, though, so it boosts the amount of damage that he's doing. Oh, yeah, that's... Smart itemization as well. It is. Uh, can we see the shop while spectating? No. Unfortunately not. That, that's one thing that would be kind of cool to kind of see what the players are going through with their idea, but I don't think it's necessary. To be fair, it might be too cluttered if that was there as a spectator. I'm yep. fine that it's not. Interesting. Sneaks picks up a summoning stone. I was just so. looking at that, yeah. He also has a level 2 Beastmaster and a Tusk now, though. Unfortunately, Beastmaster does not summon units in this game. That is a different game. Ah, crap. <laughs> totally forgot. Yeah, that goes back to one of those, it's like, did he really have a better choice? He maybe had some crappy items and figured, hey, I'll pick this up. If I get a Lycan later on, you know, he'll benefit from it. So. 
Not necessarily a bad option, just not helping now. As he's going to lose to Grunt, it looks like, who's got level 5. So that's another interesting strategy that we see the difference of, uh, who goes to level 5 and who sits on level 4 for round 5. It comes down to what strategies or what alliances you have access to. Yo. Whether you have a two Yo. star or not. Oh, it was a draw. <laughs> I did see. Yeah, I went over to Pontius's and his, his clockwork died at the same second. That was funny. This puck did. Oh, Mist Goat also went for the coordinated assault. So we got a couple of yep. players. Early troll. Not, neither one running a troll yet, but. Wait, where was the other one? Oh, that's Durr. Right, yeah. He not a troll either. Going up against Malice, who's got some troll strategy, or not troll, but uh, Druid strategy going in. A little two Nature's Prophet and Enchantress as a result. It's quite the clash of nobody dying. Juggernaut might finally fall. No, the Enchantress heal too strong. <laughs> this is such a slow battle. Uh, looks like Malice of Wonderland finally will take it, though. So a couple of players still at the 100%. Malice as well as Grunt. Grunt uh, Tooth and Claw that he picked up. <coughs> so in another case, we see the, that Savage buff. Yeah, it seems quite good to me, to be honest. It's hard to tell. It's, it's, it, it, yeah, it's, it's one of those kind of invisible invisible ones, but it does seem pretty good to me. Um, especially, there seems to be a pretty high prevalence of people going for tanky builds. Yeah, of course, going to be good against that. Speaking of tanky build, he's going up against Snakes, who's quite the warrior build. And it looks like he's going to win it, actually. So, yeah, maybe uh, that's a sign right there of actually how much work it's doing. All right. Does the Arc Warden summon count with Summoning Stone? Huh, good question. Does he actually, is he the one with the Arc Warden? He yeah. is. It must, right? <sighs> That no. Yeah, it does. Hundred percent, it does. Because his Arc Warden came out with one hundred and fifty or seven hundred fifty HP. Hmm. Dope. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. That yeah, that's one of those. It I, I feel like it shouldn't, but okay. Okay, so then if that Arc Warden summons another one, is that when you get the second buff? It totally does, right? That's totally how it would be coded. So they just keep on buffing. They get progressively further. better. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. That's amazing. Uh, Assuming that's how it works. I don't. I don't know if that's how it works. I. I would. Who knows? Yeah. I don't. I don't even think Valve knows. That's one of those like. Yeah. When it happens, we'll address it. Figure it out. Yep. <laughs> if if it seems broken eventually, then we'll fix it. He right, throws in the uh, razor. So has that primordial synergy now. Saw how well that worked last game. Not going to work for him here, though, from the looks of it. Up against Grunt, who's the only player with 100 life currently. And I think a bit of that is that Savage. It's, it's, it's doing work. He's got two level 1 Tusks out there and the level 2 Enchantress. So, and, oh, he has a Lycan as well, yeah. Yeah, just adding up that bleed damage, huh? Yeah, each of those attacks is 10 bleed damage per second, so... That certainly adds up, and I, I gotta think there's no cap on it. Oh, and he brings in a Sand King. So all of a sudden he has four Savage buff with that item buff that we're talking about. So 25% more damage, plus that dot that he's applying. I, I like where he's going with this. He's off to a nice roll, hasn't lost any HP yet. And the Savage is really nice with Treant, who has pretty high base damage already. But uh, he gets rid of the tree, so never mind. Player 
Pitch plan for $100. Gotta feel that pressure, man. Going in on the Savage Strat early on. At Benny. Benjamin. That's a level three nature's profit that I'm looking at, by the way. Yeah, Grunt just got demolished. Oh, did he? Okay. Misco, last place. <laughs> it don't matter. Beats up on our first place player. Oh, look at Misco, though. He spent a lot of gold. He's only 73 life, and he's below 10 gold currently. <clears throat> Trying to figure out what he's going for. Yeah, he don't know. <laughs> That'll happen. Only a couple players are pulling up a bit of gold. Glucose at the highest at 30. Now we got an item round coming up. Can he get a third unstable reactor? That would no. just be silly. The answer is probably just, not. You just spend the rest of the game rolling. <laughs> you don't even care about leveling. Give me the mechs, or inventors. All right, take a look at the items once we get them. But yeah, Malice, he's, uh, he's got the two level two Druids, which means either one of them becomes level three, and in this case, again, Nature's Prophet. Talk about a very early level three. Uh, that's one of the benefits of Druids, of course, what they can do. Although I guess I'm looking at his damage. Yeah, Nature's Prophet damage isn't really that strong, is it? Only 95. That's level 2 Druid, though. Oh, that's so. right. Yeah, it makes more sense. Still, it's probably not that high, but that, again, that's understandable to keep Druids in balance. Yep. Uh, items. Forge in battle, picked up by Misgoat, but doesn't have any brawny units. So no trolls, no brawny units, but he has the two globals. Unfortunate. Got to fit that in somehow. He's sitting with a Beastmaster in his inventory. No trolls, though, even. Yeah, that's just, that's a, it's one of those very funky games. It's You're trying so hard to make something work, but just not getting what you need. How about uh, Durr with the troll? Unstoppable. Picked up Ooh. Arcane Boots as well. Grunt picked up Summoning Stone. He has two Lycans and two Venomancers out there right now. Wow. It doesn't but matter. Blowing up. Yeah, double Requiem and Tinker Rockets. That'll that'll happen. Yeah. That was a bad matchup for him, frankly. <laughs> yeah, he's got a bunch of level one units that are just exploding. <clears throat> yeah, very interesting idea. With uh with Grunt there, but I, in that matchup, at least, it did not work out at all. So I'm kind of wondering if he's having cold feet now, or I guess he's kind of have to stick with it for the time being, at least. Let's see what he ends up getting here. Any other items that were stand out? Um, sneaks. We knew he had the summoning stone. Oh, he went the smuggler. So better items in the future. Interesting. He wants the. Oh, he's going to transition into mages. It's all sneaks by the ogre, and I'm like, what is he thinking? But then he bought a razor and a crystal maiden. Of course, uh, can work well with that arc warden, and he already has a razor out there. Yeah, I'd love to find that final flash, I'm sure. That's a really, really insane item. Oh, the mage one? Yeah. Yeah, when I saw that, I, I was kind of like, am I reading this right? <laughs> it sounds pretty stupid. <laughs> oh, they, they, they all refresh? Yeah. Ah, cool. <laughs> I'm glad that's in the game. Isn't that, because I, I, I never played with the gods in auto chess, but I, I heard that that's like literally what the gods passive was. I think the gods passive was 50% CDR, but I could be wrong. I don't, again, I, I played like one game with them. Well, similar enough, apparently. Yeah. Wow, Harudra. He is really trying to max out on these druids. If he finds a lone druid, that'd be nice. Currently sitting in first place, and I, I gotta say, I look at his composition, and it doesn't seem like one that's first place worthy. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. Somehow is. He's got the troll passive with no trolls on the. 
got pretty mediocre items. You just, you just got too much stuff, I guess. A bunch of heals, a bunch of extra units. And level four Savage. That's, yep. That helps. Yeah, he, he shreds that. Some I, I guess there's our answer. It's just it, he is overwhelming them. With the plus 25% damage buff. So I'd be curious how this continues to accelerate, but at least for now it's it's working. He's going he's planning to get a lot of these one and two star or rank one and rank two units. I would imagine that as soon as he goes up against the, the glucose comp though, he's probably screwed, right? Because all of his little units will just explode. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah. That's always fun to see too when you ever see like two shadow fiends on the board. It's one of those like you kinda it loses the demon buff, but you have double requiem, which is pretty damn good. This glucose matches up against sneaks, both at 72 life. <laughs> double explosion. Just looks funny. Ah, close battle. Can right, he kill the Arc Wardens? Yes, looks like he can. Right, that's a good victory there for Glucose. Gurudra yeah, continues to roll. Just all these little units doing a bunch of extra damage with the Savage buff. Five round win streak now for him as we enter round 15. Three mages for sneaks. We've got potential for three mages for Ponchies. Both players down at the bottom. It's usually how it goes. If you're holding out for mages. <clears throat> but then what's the economy looking like? A lot of players are sitting at that 50 mark now. Some in the 30 range, but certainly have built up an economy as we have the Alpha Wolves now. And this is where, yeah, if you're the mages, I'm looking at sneaks. I don't know if they can uh, withstand this. You just got to kill them fast enough with all the AOE. Taking out the big one is, is a pretty big deal, but I don't know if he's going to be able to. Uh, another Laguna Blade coming out. Oh, God, it's going to be close. Yeah, he should have it. <laughs> Oof. The human buff really helping. Human and Primordial definitely saving him there. Yo, yo. Does the silence actually do anything against the Alpha Wolf? Yo, 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 yo. Oh, that's a good point. Yo. Buff, yeah. yo. I keep thinking that it's uh, disable, but it's. Uh, the, I mean, disarm. The disarm, the yeah, yeah. That was the. That's that other game that we don't mention. Dota Auto Chess. Whoops. <laughs> Too much tactics. Oh God. I uh, yeah. <laughs> that's not okay. And you're keeping on Underlords. I will never play that game, ever. I have not played it yet, but for the watching I've done, I'm I don't I'm not interested. I mean, it would involve installing League of Legends. And <laughs> I would, might as well just throw my computer out the window at that point. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't you just love that battle? Great League versus Dota versus Heroes of New Earth. Anyone? No. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Rudra against Glucose. Glucose has a Warlock buff now. He picked up a Necrophos. Sitting in the back there. Is that a Techies? What the? Oh my god, he also has a Techies. That's a very early Techies find. Fortunately, mine is always placed behind it, which means it's kind of hard to get full damage with that. Super good against Assassins. <laughs> okay. But. I was gonna—he did get the higher class of criminal. I was wondering how he already had a techies, but that makes a lot of sense then. Uh, still means—I mean, it still means there's only a one percent chance, right, at level eight. So, yeah, he did certainly get lucky there. And he has six scrappy now. Wow. Yikes! A lot of level ones. That's that's the concern, but he has six Grappy, four Inventor. That that's a yep. really good combo. It certainly is. And the Warlock buff. Very very tanky units. 
Although, that is a little bit of an issue because you're playing like units that want to die, right? You have two two unstable reactors, but everybody's super tanky. Yeah, but I guess like when they do that, it still explodes, so yeah. oh, that's a huge issue. <clears throat> yeah, he it took some time, but he certainly wins that match. That round even. Yeah, Glucose, I'm not liking what he's doing here. I don't think anyone else is going uh, Inventors or Scavenge at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at everyone. No one else has a single buff for it, so it is very open. Yeah, if he can, if he can replace I, either the Bounty Hunter or maybe in the Clockwork with a Gyrocopter, then he will certainly be in a really good spot. I guess it'd have to be the Clockwork. He also needs to level these up, though. Being level ones only gonna last you so long. Um, yeah, definitely. Oh, we didn't look at next tier of items yet. But then Grunt, he ended up picking <laughs> summoning stone, coordinated assault, tooth and claw. <laughs> Just buffs. Yeah, he's got all of these. Uh, all of the summons. Control warlock, uh, warlord doing quite a bit of work. It's gonna be pretty close. Going up against Glucose. Yeah. That's floating. Uh, eh, it's not gonna win. Yeah, that acid spray was really good too. Just damage it does over time. <coughs> Missed goat. I believe he went brawny. Previous item round. Malice. Did Malice pick up the Druid buff? No, there's no way. No, he's had that for a while. I think? No, I don't think so. I cause I think he was the one with Unstoppable. No, maybe not. Maybe that was somebody else. Okay, so either way he has that now. Um Dur with a blade mail, snakes with a basher on razor, that's good. And Ponch just got a Vanguard on his own razor. He's uh he's he's struggling right now. He doesn't really seem to have any set strategy in round 19. That's a bit tough to come back from at this point. Yeah, he's got some synergy, but the ranks are all pretty low. Yep. You may survive here, though. This TA is always, always a difference maker. Yeah. Certainly was right there. Glucose continues his win streak. He's now on a five-game win streak. Five-round win streak, even. As yeah, so we got round 20, so bigger and better items to come. Rudra, first place, and he's been fairly committed to a Druid strat. I, I would think he's still looking for a lone Druid. Just hasn't found one yet. As well, everyone has basically 50-plus gold right now. This is this is gonna be a fun fit, especially knowing with what, what's on the line. It's uh, a lot can still fat, happen. Fat stacks on the line. <laughs> that one fat stack. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried playing with the uh, the camera stuff? No, I I just keep it as it is the default. Yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> It just it just looks cute. weird, and I heard that there's also bugs with like the clicking. It sometimes bugs out if you like change the view. So mm, I can see that. I just stick with the normal. I never had a massive issue with it. Like I get why people complain about that because in Dota you can zoom in and zoom out, so they're so used to it. But it's it doesn't bother me. Yeah, I think the default's probably pretty good. All right, so Grunt, oh, Grunt got a Mask of Madness, and he also leveled his Troll Warlord up to level 2. So he's got that now. That's a good increase. Mask of Madness picked up by Harudra, but he's not going to use it, at least yet. Curious. Who would you even put it on? No one right now. Yeah, everything that he has out, you certainly want them to cast their stuff, so... Maybe Enchantress now. That though, God, he's gonna get run over this round though. Wow, Grunt just destroys him. That's gonna be at least ten damage, yeah, fifteen yep. damage. 
Ouch. Yo. Yep, yo. deserves a yo indeed. Yo. <laughs> yo. Ponchi is hanging in. Hanging in there. Ooh, missed go or that's Malice. Malice actually got a dig on in his Arc Warden. Interesting. Level two Arc Warden. Uh, Durr, what did he get? He... What did he get? Blade Mail, maybe? No, I think it might have been the Brooch, actually. Either way, nothing too crazy there. Ooh, Moon Shard for Sneaks. Puts it on his Lycan currently. Some damage. And Pontius has a Daedalus on his Terror Blade. <laughs> Pontius Perspective now against Malice in Wonderland. Let's see what that Daedalus Terror Blade does. Gonna. <laughs> Oh, he swapped his dice! <laughs> Dagon! Good night, sir! Oh, I shouldn't laugh that hard, but that was hilarious. He killed another one of his own units and got daggoned in the face anyway. Terrorblade's a great unit, as you were saying oh earlier. Oh my god. <laughs> what a disaster. Yeah, that was pretty bad. That's a feels bad moment right there. <clears throat> Not looking good for Pontius. Uh, Gypsy makes a point. He'd put the Mask of Madness on Terror Blade. Or not, <laughs> not Terror Blade. Uh, Nature's Prophet. Nature's Prophet. I suppose, yeah. Might not be the worst thing ever. But he actually doesn't even have Nature's Prophet on the board anymore. Did he? Oh, he found a troll. So he has a level one troll. That he just puts out. Oh, because he has Coordinated Assault, too. Yeah. I don't I don't know if I like that. Better, better than nothing. Yeah, I suppose. Actually, it's not bad. He does have the other troll, too. So he is getting the troll buff. Okay. I didn't see that first. He also has a warlock buff, so there and it does. He has a warrior buff. Okay, it's actually not. Weird. How does it work against Grunt though? The number one place right now. I mean, this, this troll is second highest DPS on his team. <laughs> yeah, for level one, not bad. Lost the battle though. That's the Venomancer on the other side dealt the most damage. Jeez. Yeah, Grunt with that summoning stone. And the, and the Tooth and Claw. That's right. He is a savage unit. Oh, oh, and so are the wards. Yeah. So the wards doing all that damage too. True. Huh. Yeah, that's another one that I, I again, haven't really tried before, the Tooth and Claw, but <laughs> I definitely want to try this now. Glucose economy out of control right now. 55 gold. Level 9. Wasn't he the one that tanked that first game that we watched? I think so. Yeah, yeah. pretty sure he was. So he, he knows how to work that economy. Make that money. Watching him against Pontius. Scrappy inventor. Terrorblade doing work. Uh, it's gonna be a close call. BH is gonna clean up though. Got it. Pontius eliminated. Sayonara, thank you for playing. Thanks for participating, Pontius. Appreciate it. Hopefully that's some fun at least. This is where you blame the RNG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in an ideal world, guys, you know, these matches, there would be like best of threes, and then you take like the points of where you play. Uh, unfortunately, you know, of course, for this kind of tournament, we can't really do that. Um, so randomness certainly will be involved. That's part of the game. I'm looking at Sneaks, a level 3 Ogre Magi with a Claymore. I don't know if I'm <laughs> impressed by that or not. Get it, boy. <laughs> he doesn't even have Bloodbound. Yeah. If he had a Warlock teammate, maybe. He has six mages, though. So that was a lot of damage. It certainly is. He also has a Moon Shard that he's waiting to see if he wants to place it on. It's round 25 hit, so. Put it on that Coddle, man. Get that mana up. All right, we'll start with Grunt, see what he gets. Refresher Orb. Three, Three people. Three Refresher Orbs. <laughs> Three people just got a Refresher Orb. Oh, my God. So Grunt got one. Who else got one? Looks like Malice got one. He puts it on his Arc Warden, who's level two. He has a Crystal <laughs> Maiden teammate as well. So this is where we can see that uh, the craziness. 
A lot of our Gordon spawns. I think ideally you need like a, a mana boots and maybe like a level two crystal maiden. Mm hmm. But yeah, that's gonna be fun. Uh, who got the third one? It was uh, sneaks. sneaks. Okay. Put it on the razor. Grunt puts it on its doom for double doom action. I want to watch Malice. Let's see how this works. Right, so he's gonna spawn here. Pressure. Eyes before the second one can come out. Yeah. But... Yeah, he needs that level two crystal maiden especially. Yeah, not enough mana. Sneaks, is he still in it? He is. He stays alive. Doing enough there, as Grunt is definitely on it quite a win streak. So is Glucose, for that matter. Yep. I like this uh, mech on Alchemist, making sure he gets off those acid sprays. Level 2 techies, by the way, too. 1,100 damage. Oh, and that's Ooh. an enigma. Great unit. With the Warlock Synergy, thanks to Alchemist. Very good unit in this case. Oh, hell, it's a great unit no matter what. Going against the corner strat of Sneaks. And, oh, this is going to be close. Oh, wow. Keeper just enough. That's a mage on mage action there. The best kind. The best kind of action. Sneaks. Over quickly. Sneak stays alive, though, on his own side. He's hanging on there. Does Lena have fiery souls in Underlords? No, she just has Laguna Blade. <coughs> Does that burst damage. See some level 2 upgrades. No level 3s, though. <laughs> Coddle with the the Dagon for Glucose. Ooh, he's going to face off against Malice. Malice also has an Enigma. Everybody just died. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, that's what I'm, I'm like, all right, now, what color are the health bars? Jeez. It's kind of close, but... Awfully close. Glucose does win it. A grunt and Glucose, well ahead of everybody else at the moment. So one more round, and then we have our round 30, a.k.a. another item round. Certainly be a game changer. You see Harudra moving units on the board to level things or try for more. Speaking of levels, level 10 Glucose. He is the first one to do so, and he's still sitting on 62 gold. So he has a very healthy economy. Uh, he's starting to pick up Tide Hunters. More and more disabled coming. Hasn't got that Gyro Copter yet, though. So he's disappointed at that. As oh, it's him versus Grunt, by the way. And he should win this. Yeah, Troll's not going to be strong enough. Although, <laughs> he's taking all this damage. <laughs> he's trying. <laughs> he's uh, trying. Yeah, there So, Glucose taking a slight lead. Old oh, Sneaks down to 1 HP. Jeez. He's hanging in there. 1 HP comeback. Chip in a chair. As I said earlier, man. That's all you need. He's going to get like a... I don't know. Some item that's going to help him win now. <laughs> I can't even think. Like an AC would be good. No, not really. Or is he going to lose the neutrals this round and go out <laughs> that way? It's a possibility, I suppose. Final Flash, yeah. That, there you go. That's an item that would actually be pretty good for him right now. Oh, yeah. Game, come on. Do it for him. Do it for us. <laughs> the one HP victory would be nuts. Oh, yeah. And then there's also that uh, where the less life you have, the more damage everything does. Mm -hmm. I suppose that would be pretty good right now for him. Because that's the... So what would that be? It's, five, it's every five life, 1% damage, so... Um, is it on everything or is it just physical? Everything. Oh, really? I think it just says all damage. I'm pretty
pretty sure that's what it says. We'll see if that pops up. Gonna find out. Oh, you got another refresher orb. <laughs> Two refresher orbs. All right, that's fine. Um, Your units attack damage, so I assume that's right okay. click. But okay, it's probably is then. Uh, Moon shard picked up for glucose. Puts it on his coddle. We see a refresher picked up by Grunt. Gets it on his Kunkka, or maybe he had that. He has a Dagon on Venom as well. Yeah, Sneaks is now going to have four Plasma Fields coming out with six Mage Synergy, so... That's good. That's pretty brutal. And Malice. Let's see what the eye is now. now. Right, we'll watch Sneaks. One life. Let's see. He's going up against Grunt. That's not, uh, not a great matchup for him. Oh boy, his Lena just got oh, doomed. Oh, gets the boat off. Uh, he's actually pushing out, though. He's going to be fine. Yeah, he takes it. Okay, fought back. Snakes, the comeback continues. Misco down to 3 HP. Malice down to 7 HP. Wow. It's getting Man. real low here. <clears throat> Grunt lost to Glucose, though, and Glucose grows his lead a little bit more. Yeah. As a result, 13 life increase or over him. Oh, he gets the gyrocopter, too. He has a level. Yo, know, he's two gyrocopters. So he's not putting it in over, say, a clockwork right now. I am intrigued by that, because I, I just feel like a, even a level one gyrocopter is so much better, but. You know, it's that explosion damage from the clockwork. Doing yeah. Quite a bit of work helping tank. That's true, I guess. Oh, well, launch him, glucose versus uh, malice. <coughs> Up against tank. the corner mage strat. I think this goat's gonna go out here. He's up against Glucose. Yep, he is done. And Sneaks is done too. Oh, they both get knocked out. Yep, there you go. Glucose barely wins his. That was actually very close against Malice. And Malice gets knocked out too. Three players getting knocked out on the same round. Wow. All right. Final three. One will walk away with a victory and a hundred bucks. Dur dur, dur ru ru ru. We got Grunt and we got Glucose. Those are the three remaining. Uh, Grunt, he is not level ten yet. Uh, the economy looking very good for Glucose. I feel like I've said that a lot. Yes. Yeah. This guy knows how to manage his economy. Yeah, she's also been rolling pretty well. Yeah, of course. That yeah, scrappy adventure. He, he he took it, and no one else was going for it. Units just disappeared, though. They did. Lich, Lich, do another chain frost. Oh, he's so close. It's it. Get off! Get off! Oh, yes, chain frost. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so close. One more second, maybe, maybe you could take it. Oh boy. Uh, point is though that glucose prevents damage. Dur on his side though he did prevent damage as well. So that's the good news. Uh, well, Grunt well. lost again though. All right, cap grows a little bit more. We'll watch uh, Dururu, considering he's the one that's potentially almost dead. At risk. <laughs> good game, sneaks. Yeah, glad you enjoyed it, man. Yeah, no problem. All right, so one more and then the items. He survived this round, that's big of course. Get the item next round. It's gonna go up against Grunt though, or Glucose, excuse me. Uh, he spread out quite a bit, didn't he? Bottle blast. Ooh, <laughs> he's through. He's gonna win, yeah. The chain oh, oh, no, he's not. not. Okay. Oh, the Luna Blade. I've seen that happen so many times where Luna, or Lena, she like dies, but then she's still Laguna Blades. That was weird. I don't know if you saw Yeah, did you see the same thing she where she's like... definitely gone. Yeah. She's definitely gone. Yeah. I've had that happen to me as well before, too. So I don't know if that's a bug or it's just like as she's dying, the same frame, That was that's weird. But either way, this is a victory for Durr. And he's going to make good the items. Ooh, did he just get another mage? Yeah, he just put uh, something out for a six mage buff. He's sitting on a level one coddle and a level two coddle in either corner. That's interesting. He definitely. Um... He definitely could lose to this dragon if he didn't have primordial buff. 
but he does. Yeah, the level four primordial buff too. So everyone's applying it. Yeah, this is this little son got pretty good. We it was some uh, was it him that did it last game or is he, I know he was part of that game. Either way, we saw that what that control can do. Mages have always been super strong in the late game, so we'll see whether he can hang out. Hold on to it here. Uh, he gets a radiance. Not a great item for him, considering he's mages, mm -hmm. but... Um, Grunt gets second, another Dagon. Second Dagon. <clears throat> and a second Moon Shard for Glucose. All right. Which he's not going to put it? Okay, he puts it on Timbersaw the last second. All right, we'll watch Jer once again. Up against Grunt. No, his Lich got silenced. That's big. That is really big. Okay, Call. he already he did chain frost once already though. Call didn't clean up though, so that's it. Go down. Yep, Dur Dur -ru -ru -ru, third place. Unfortunately, just gonna be shy. Getting knocked but out Grunt, there. Grunt also just lost to Glucose, thirteen life, so probably a harbinger of things to come. What can Grunt do to adjust to this? He's got a, he's got, wow, even a troll level three. Holy crap. But. Yeah, I mean, this, the Midnight Pulse, these, uh, super tanky units. That's the thing. The armor is the biggest issue for him, because, yes, the troll, he could be as beefy as he is. He, he can't break through the armor, though. Yeah, he needs more magic somehow. There. Troll kind of going on. Yeah, Troll's doing a lot of damage. Yeah, Midnight Pulse. Oh, and the Caudal Blast misses. So it is up to Troll, but he's going to go down. Sure. Yeah, it's. Um, he... Got the heals, actually. He's winning. He's going to win. Yeah. Wow. That was <laughs> great. Excellent target selection by the Troll. He had to kill the units in that order. Right? And he dealt six damage to Glucose. It's definitely uh, plenty of game left. That level three troll certainly making a difference. He's also going to reposition a little bit. Puts him more in a straight line. Okay, look at that. 9,400 damage on troll. Doom was second with 1,900. Jeez. Yeah, what do you think about the fact that there's still no gyro? I don't like it. I, I don't get it. <laughs> like, gyro's old. He's a level two. Yeah, what the f I don't, it, it makes no sense to me. The explosion thing is like, it's okay when it was maybe a level one gyrocopter, but with a level two gyrocopter, you need to get him out there. I mean, the thing is though, he loses the scrap. Gyro's dead eye, he's not goblin. That is true. I actually forgot about that. Yeah. I'm watching Glucose's perspective here. This time he is going to kill the troll on his side at yeah, least. Yeah, he smashes him. And Grunt got destroyed on his side. Yeah, 15 damage he takes. Ouch. Nah, uh, yeah, that, 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 that's a good, that's a fair point at least. Losing everyone, getting the ally buff for Scrappy, it's that is decent. Especially against a purely physical damage team, I think. I think it's probably fine. <sighs> well, then why not putting it in for the level one Lich that he has here? Mage synergy. Or is this... Oh, no, he just had that out there to buy stuff. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. Because he has a level 2 Lich as well. <laughs> That's why I was curious. Okay, yeah. 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 Well, we'll see what Kukos does this time. Oh, here comes the boat. Next. That's a double boat. That's pretty good. This is looking decent for, for Grunts. Although the Chain Frost changes that, but now a Troll. Cuddle Blast. Oh my god, is he gonna carry again? Troll Solo carries again! Woo! And he wins his own side again, too. So yeah, deal it's 16. Super damage. close, super close. This is, uh. This item could mean a huge amount. I'm trying to think is there an item that Troll could get here specifically that would just. Because the Mask of Mattis is already really good. Uh, I think a Maelstrom. More magic damage, potentially cut through yeah okay 
Actually, I mean, the mom, I don't know. The mom is definitely carrying him, though. He doesn't have life like every single time. Look at Glucose, so. by the way. He is one Enigma away from a level three Enigma. That's ridiculous. Because it increases the AoE, too. <laughs> yep. Up to four cells and then 9% from 7%, which when you're dealing with max HP, that's ridiculous. Yep. Trolls are doing work, though. <laughs> Oh, he also has Techies level 3, too. <laughs> Jesus. And he's still above 50 gold. That, that's just the craziest thing to me. <laughs> it's the fact he's still above 50 gold this whole time. I know. How the hell does he do it? Level 10, level 3 Techies. All right, what are the items? The uh, higher class criminal definitely helps. He gets a refresher. And, and... Grunt got desperate measures. Ooh, the attack damage on the troll with the Mask of Madness. Yep. So what is that dealing? He's, so basically 25, so 75 divided by 5. Whatever that is. <laughs> Top of my head. Quick math. Calculator. 75 divided by 5. He's dealing 15% more damage. Yeah, Gerald's not scrappy. That's what we were talking about earlier. That's why it's it's understandable that there's a decision there. All right, so I'm watching from Grunt's perspective. Yep. Yeah, the tool's doing 380 damage per hit. He's in the Midnight Pulse, though. That's really important. Yep. It's He's ticking down. Ooh. Uh, no, the techies. Yep, it's too much. And he did no damage oh. to Glucose on the other side. Yeah, he just lost 13 damage there. He's gonna have to reposition here, or just hope that the that thing but targets somebody else. Because we're all just standing in, in midnight pulse, getting hit by the chain frost. That's gonna be GG. It looks like Glucose is finally spending his gold now to either get a level three gyrocopter or Enigma. Yep, makes sense. Might as well buy out. This could be the very last one. Or level three Lich. Oh my god! All of the above. He got he Enigma. All right, here we go. We'll watch from Grunt's perspective. Is this going to be it, potentially? He did swap things around, troll all the way on the left-hand side. Double techies mine with that refresher. That's going to do some good damage. It's troll versus the world. Troll warlord, can he at least kill some targets to prevent the lethal? He gets one, and the Cottle Blast coming through another Midnight Pulse, so he kills Timbersaw. If he oh kills a Nigma before. He's healing, he's healing. Oh, no way. There's the Midnight Pulse, but what the heels? <laughs> Fervor adds up. He gets the kill. He's going to carry oh, once again. The explosion. The Illuminate oh. is not enough damage. The Midnight Pulse, he lives. <laughs> Holy crap, Troll Warlord. Jesus. Wow. He didn't know damage, but damn it, he doesn't care. He stayed alive. That's what matters. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. All right, how are they going to switch around this positioning? Is anything going to change? We'll see. And he gets a Lich level three. Jesus. Oh, yikes. That that could be it, to be honest. Ooh, that's pretty good. I don't see any swapping going on. Oh. Techies is being moved around. Yeah, now Glucose, as I say that, Glucose is the Techies there. Grant, he looks like he kept right Putting Techies us. right next to the troll. Yeah, smart. Basically, go back to his suicide roots. Yep. Oh, toss on no. Enigma. Uh, yeah, trolls. trolls nope, toast. nope. Yeah, yes. There, JG. Oh, man. It was so yeah. sexy the previous round, but Glucose. He is our champion for the Underlords Open, the first ever. We're just going to say the first ever Underlords tournament that's happened. Congratulations. Yeah. He's, he's now the highest earning Underlords professional in all. <laughs> The entire world. Nice job, dude. Hundred dollars is yours. Congratulations. Um, that, that's something, though. Again, he was a player that is the first game.